We continue to follow that breaking news of magnitude 8.7 earthquake hit off the coast of Russia. Several aftershocks have already been reported. Tonight, the quake has triggered a tsunami watch along the California coast. And right here, uh, right now in Oahu, apparently there's an evacuation issued for coastal areas of Oahu. Emergency management officials expecting destructive waves there. We're going to bring in seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones. Uh, Dr. Jones, thanks for joining us. Of course. Several large aftershocks already reported. We know you're tracking this. What are you seeing? Yeah, as we would expect. I mean, there's a, uh, the largest aftershock so far is, so far is 6.9, which is almost two units of magnitude smaller than the main shock. So not at all surprising. Having some magnitude sevens wouldn't be surprising at all over the next, uh, you know, well, over the next few months, actually. Uh, right now, there, there have already been... Um, a half a dozen uh, above five and a half. And it's all along the uh, coast of Kamchatka. So there's what's called a subduction zone. The only place we get these really big earthquakes are places where one part of, you know, one part of the crust is going down underneath another. And then you get these large flat surfaces. This is also the only place where we create the really big tsunamis. And it does look like this is producing a tsunami. Uh, there's a warning out for the westernmost part of the Aleutian Islands, but also for the island of Hawaii, with a prediction of uh, wave heights between th one and three meters, which is about three to 10 feet. Um, here on, uh, the West Coast uh, in California, Oregon, and Washington, we're having a tsunami watch, which is just saying, okay, let's keep our eyes out, see what really develops here. If there were waves coming here, they'd be arriving about one in the morning, our time. So uh, we, have, we have plenty of time to see what's really going on. Uh, and, you know, the good news in California is we mostly have cliffs. And if we were to have, you know, a one foot tsunami or even a three foot tsunami, uh, you don't have to go very far away from the beach till you're above three feet above sea level. And, and therefore, our areas at risk are very small. Our biggest risk is usually uh, damage to marinas and harbors uh, because of the strong currents that get developed in the water. You gave us a timeline as to when we might see some activity. What are we talking about in terms of wave height? I do not see any predictions of wave height from the Tsunami Warning Center yet for California. I only see the wave arrival times. I think they are waiting to get a little more information. Um, and uh, they they have buoys out in the ocean to be able to record the uh, um uh, the, the wave heights as they go past, yeah. and they'll use that information to get a better forecast for us. Um, I think the expectation is that they will be quite small. Um, it, it, we really are a very long ways away. Um, and that's why I actually think that currents can potentially be more damaging than the wave heights. When people think of tsunamis and earthquakes that large, they immediately think of what happened in Thailand uh, 20, 20 something years ago. How does this compare? Okay, that earthquake was a 9.2. So we're talking about 10 or 20 times more water being produced. But this is a big event, right? And we need to uh, see what's coming. I don't think we have enough information yet to be certain of exactly how, um, how big this one is going to be. And, you know, you see these tsunami watches. Um, in fact, it remember that you know, it's not going to hit the whole island of Catalina. Most of that is more than 10 feet above sea level. And absolutely, the, you know, they're saying the maximum in Hawaii is only 10 feet above sea level. So it's, we need to remember, it's really very confined to right along the coast uh, with whatever happens. Um, and we'll have to wait and see whether there's enough water to be noticeable. The other thing, information I don't have is what I, and I just haven't found it, is what's the high tide? If this is coming in at low tide, we aren't going to notice the difference between this and, uh, and a high tide. All right, Dr. Lucy Jones, we know your dance card is full here tonight. We appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Okay.